there's no news. Is is that it? Yeah. Oh, you're still here. Okay, I, I guess I'll give you something. Kingdom Hearts news is in a awkward state, to put it lightly. Like, it's not necessarily that we have no news, because around a month ago, it felt like there was so much little news coming out, that on top of leaks and other things. Though, what I mean by awkward is that all the news we've gotten has not been official. If you haven't been in the loop, I'll explain. It all started around late April to early May. We got rumors of a Kingdom Hearts movie that was in development. Very exciting, and not only was it one rumor, it was multiple rumors about a Kingdom Hearts movie being made. It was trending all over Twitter. Again, very exciting, but while it's technically news, none of it came from Square Enix or Disney. So we heard the rumors and were kind of just waiting to see it confirmed, if it ever is. Then not too long after that, we did get some official news and cutscenes from Kingdom Hearts Missing Link that were released as part of a closed beta that a lot of the world didn't have access to. But not long after that, we got a huge pouring of leaks from Square Enix from a now pretty tainted source, I'd say. So it's up in the air how valid those leaks are. And even recently, as I'm recording this video, we got small information about these D23 pins that feature potential new worlds for Kingdom Hearts 4. Those people are speculating anyways. They're really just world pins that are representing Disney properties. But there's Coco and Zootopia there, so hey, maybe that's a teaser for something in the future. We also have this Renatus stuff going on, but that might be more of a 2 thing rather than a Kingdom Hearts thing. This news cycle is just pretty bizarre. Though despite how bizarre it is, that doesn't stop Kingdom Hearts fans, including myself, from eating just about everything we can up. Because we haven't gotten any news regarding Kingdom Hearts 4, the game most people want to see, in over two years, so anything is something. In late May and early June, we had the first wave of gaming events, with the random state of play, Summer Games Fest, and an Xbox showcase. Leading up to Summer Games Fest specifically, Kingdom Hearts fans would ask host Jeff Keighley under every one of his posts if we'd see Kingdom Hearts 4 at Summer Games Fest. This would be followed by Jeff Keighley making a lot of tweets asking people what they would like to see at said event, which of course a lot of the top comments would end up being Kingdom Hearts 4 and various other games. Now Kingdom Hearts fans admittedly were pretty aggressive with the request, which would eventually lead to Jeff Keighley on a live stream talking to viewers close to Summer Games Fest about the show, saying that he doesn't know why people keep asking about Kingdom Hearts 4. And talking about how they were setting themselves up for failure or disappointment. I remember when this happened on Twitter, it kind of set the fan base into a bit of a fury that day. I'm not going to relive every detail of it, but it was pretty bad on Twitter that day. I think the hope going in was definitely just that after all the leaks and rumors from May that maybe Kingdom Hearts 4 would end up showing up which it did not, of course, at any of those three events, actually. Otherwise, this would be a very different video. Regardless, it did still get Kingdom Hearts trending once again, though maybe not for the best of reasons. Basically, a lot of the news we've gotten has been unofficial news about Kingdom Hearts 4 rumors or leaks. Missing Link has even had a rumor or leak that turned out to be a bust. The past two months of news has been weird. Kingdom Hearts has had close to nothing major happening, minus some Missing Link story that most people didn't watch. Yet despite that, the series has been trending so much on social media. One thing is for sure, excitement and general discussion around Kingdom Hearts as a franchise is definitely high. The real question is how long do we wait for Square Enix or Disney to capitalize on all this excitement with a trailer? Now here's the part of the video where I complain about not seeing Kingdom Hearts 4 and talk about my excitement and how badly I want the game, but not right now, probably later though. Thing is, as much as I want Kingdom Hearts 4 news, I can wait. I've said this multiple times on streams, I know some people are panicking or rather scared about the idea that Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to take forever to release, like quote Kingdom Hearts 3 did as a lot of people like to say, and for some people another year or two definitely does feel like forever for them. I mean a lot of life can go by in two years. Don't get me wrong though, I want to see Kingdom Hearts 4, don't get it twisted. I may be a YouTuber, but I'm still a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, I've been a Kingdom Hearts fan way before I started doing YouTube. Me deciding to make over a 
thousand videos on Kingdom Hearts, that's a lot of videos, isn't just because of content or whatever. It's because Kingdom Hearts is a little bit of a obsession for me. If someone as addicted to the series as me can find patience and wait, you definitely can too. However, again, I want Kingdom Hearts 4 so freaking badly, dude. Like, I'm staring down D23 and TGS for news this summer because I still believe. Even if my faith is being tested a little bit, I will hold out a little bit of hope. Though, I believe more than anything in the inevitability that the game will release someday. Many people are looking at 2025 to 2026. I think either of those are fine. To me, anything after 2026 is long wait territory. I mean, the game got announced in 2022. I think four years between announcement and release date. Well, it's a little iffy, I don't think it's that bad. I don't even want to see a trailer because I'm expecting a release date or anything. All I'm really wanting is a trailer so I have a better idea of the gameplay direction they are taking. Maybe some Disney Worlds too. But after like one to two more trailers, I'm pretty much done because I don't want a repeat of Kingdom Hearts 3 spoiler situation. I still don't understand why the last year of KH3 trailers did that. Like showing Roxas and showing the Guardians dying, really? So let me get this straight. You're basically saying that there's been news, but the news we got isn't official news, it's just a bunch of rumors? Yeah, pretty much. Dude, that's stupid. Okay, but maybe the game we should be focusing on isn't Kingdom Hearts 4. I mean, Missing Link could drop a open beta or just the full game any day now. Dude, no one cares about Missing Link. At this rate, my grandkids are going to be playing Kingdom Hearts 4 with me whenever it comes out. Yeah, maybe you're right. So Missing Link, this game has gone over a lot of people's radars, probably because the marketing for this game is just too good. I mean, what better way to advertise the Missing Link than make the game literally go missing? Look, I know, Kingdom Hearts fans aren't funny, we've been making that joke for the past two years, but hey, Square has been letting that joke exist for the past two years. So think about that one. Anyways, in all seriousness, Missing Link, as far as we've seen, has been in a good development state. Again, as far as we've seen. The multiple closed beta tests we've had have definitely shown that this game is going above and beyond to change our perception of the Kingdom Hearts mobile title. Actually, having voice actor cutscenes is going to be a big deal for the many people that watch the cutscenes on YouTube years later. Aside from that, the gameplay does play like a normal Kingdom Hearts game, with some classic gotcha elements. And I am actually interested in this GPS mode the game is advertising. I think Kingdom Hearts is one of those games that has an extremely great community when they get together. I've been able to see the Kingdom Hearts orchestras when they were around, and I've met a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans at conventions, and it's always been fun interacting with the community IRL. So I think that it'd be really cool to have this GPS feature as a potential way to do more community meetups and events and things like that. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. The wait for Kingdom Hearts 4 to return definitely would not be as bad if Missing Link was recovered from the Lost and Found. But we'll get something soon, I'm sure. The only thing left for the game to potentially do is a US open beta and then a release, and I'm hoping that at the very least that could happen this summer. Assuming there haven't been any problems with development we don't know about, which is always possible. The state of Kingdom Hearts news is definitely weird, but hey, I'm gonna be around for a while so I can wait for whatever's coming next, and hopefully that next thing is worth the wait for everyone. I'll still be streaming D23, TGS, and whatever other events Kingdom Hearts has a 0.1% chance of being at this year. All because I'm still holding out hope. Subscribe if you want to watch all those events with me when they do happen, and otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and take Take care everyone, bye!